near CERN, purely demonic rituals. Oh, yes, showed... I saw that. I did, uh, Go ahead, sir. It was terrifying. Yeah, absolutely. That video of, of the demonic rituals yes. of opening the tunnel, and I only had a brief opportunity to look at it. I saw what was going on. Mm -hmm. It was an openly demonic, it, it was devoted to the worship of Satan. It's in our I, face. But I didn't, I, I knew that it was the Goddard Tunnel, but I didn't realize it was connected to the whole CERN thing. Well, physically it's not connected. Right. I want to make that clear. But in the sense of the spiritual world and right. the communication I through see. ritual, okay. they are connected. Right. And in fact, in that ceremony, that demonstration, they showed the opening of the portal that CERN will achieve. And the tunnel itself represents in physics quantum tunneling, which is a communication utilizing an artificially intelligent computer, an adiabatic quantum computer, which runs its computations through another dimension, retrieves that information from another dimension, achieving a solution that we can use in our world. Now that is real, that's not fantasy, that comes right, right from the manufacturer. This is the machine that is employed now, just recently, now at CERN, and will be responsible for the initiation of the opening of the portal and the stability, the holding open of the portal for the receiving of, and I'll give this definitively, it's digitized DNA, demonic DNA, in a digitized form, ones and zeros, coming through this portal, received here, reassembled, if you will, and then presented to a hybrid body. Because as you said, Lucifer desires to be God, as the Bible says, and Lucifer desires to create his own race in his own image. Exactly. And um, I think you would agree, at the, this is very hard for many Christians to, uh, to, to grasp. It's a, it's a truth that is hard for Christians to really own, and that is the world is exactly as the Bible says that it is. Yes, it is. And uh, there's an invisible world, Lucifer at the top, his hierarchy of demons. He compartmentalizes information on a need-to-know basis. Yep. And at the very top, um, there are men and women who are open Luciferians. Yes, indeed. They have committed themselves, they participate in rituals to the worship of Satan. Because as you said, they believe that they're going to conquer Christ yep. and Satan is the true, or Lucifer is the, tr is, is the true God. That's right. Now, you said that and I said that and the Bible says that, but for some reason that's, that there's almost a veil in the minds of many Christians. And I, and I pray as we interview you that the Holy Spirit would just break that veil of deception and, and that God's people could really see reality as it really is, instead of living in this kind of fog state, which is based on their uh, unbelief of, of God's word. Well, let's use the collider for our purposes. Okay. Let's call that evidence. Yeah. It's physical, it's yeah. tangible, it's right there in our face. Right. If we accept the symbology they have presented, which is demonic in origin, yes. their statues, their videos, yeah. and we take that at face value as definitive evidence to yeah. the hidden agenda, right. we can say there's the machine, the most powerful machine, the largest machine ever created in recorded history of mankind. And that is definitive proof that we have a problem. This is a extension, a extinction level event this opening of the portal. If we look at the wars... Did you say extension or extinction? It, extinction, I'm okay, sorry. Extinction level, okay. If we look at the wars that are going on right now, mm -hmm. imagine if that portal was open. The key to the bottomless pit is the Large Hadron Collider. If they were to turn that key and open that doorway and we were flooded, the wars would seem insignificant and in all the other ills of the planet compared to the opening of this portal. This is why it is imperative, because it's right now today, and it's in our face, and it's tangible proof. That breaks down our own veil. Okay, so, so Anthony is, is, is telling you, uh, in a methodical, rational, logical way, that we have evidence, the visual pictures, the videotapes, the published statements of the heads, some of the heads of, of CERN, and they are saying in their videos and the visuals and the 
evidence that you're talking about, if you showed it yeah. in a courtroom, it would be acceptable evidence right. of openly demonic worship of Satan and uh, open admission of, of many of the agendas that you talked about. Now, since this is true, and it is true because you have evidence to back up Absolutely. what you're saying, uh, and it also, there's no conflict between what you're saying and the Bible. In fact, the Bible would, would support what you're saying. Revelation 9. Revelation 9. And when their hidden agendas, be, when, the, when the fruit of their hidden agendas, when, they, when, when these beings start moving through the portal and entering into the earth, mm -hmm. I don't think most Christians are, are ready for um, the physical manifestation and the supernatural changes that are that occur in, in what we call our, our present reality. Our present right. reality is about ready to be violently shaken and reshaped. They are already in communication with some something that has a personality and has ability to communicate. Um, and the, the information that they're receiving must be very high level information because they're feeding it to, to laboratories and uh, technologies all across the planet. And what you said, which is so sobering, uh, that video on the internet that captured the, it was an open satanic worship ceremony, I guess in the Goddard Tunnel. Yes. And uh, I saw it and I was like, my mouth hung open because it was so in your face, Luciferian and satanic. I would say we've probably not seen something that bold in the mainstream media. No, we haven't. In our lifetime. No, no. And you know, um, there, there's been an escalation and it, and it keeps getting faster and more bold and more prominent. The Illuminati symbols at the Super Bowls and these giant uh, musical performances in stadiums by music superstars and the Olympics. There are in your face occult messages and satanic messages and symbols, uh, which tells you there's a very powerful uh, Luciferian elite in this world, very active, and they're not hiding anymore. No, they're, they're they've, not. They, they've come out. Because